Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of SubWallet How To Series. In this video, I'm going to give you instructions on how to attach Polkadot Vault account into SubWallet extension. For this demo, I'm going to use Polkadot Vault on my iPhone. First, open the App Store on your iPhone and download Polkadot Vault from the store. Open it and read through all of the introduction. Hit continue, accept the term and service, and make sure you enable airplane mode and turn off Wi-Fi connection. Then confirm, next. Make sure you're aware of the risk, next. And you can set up the network later when you do the transaction. Okay. Since you haven't got any key sets here, hit on add key set and add a new key set. Enter the name for reference, hit next. Make sure you've written down all of your secret recovery phrase and then create key set. Okay, at this point, open your sub wallet browser extension and then click on the drop down and then choose to attach account. Connect a Polkadot Vault account and hit on scan QR code. On your phone, click on your account, click on the Polkadot um, key, and here's your QR code. Make sure you scan it. And there you go. You have successfully attached your Polkadot Vault account into your SubWallet extension. And for reference, you can click on this account, hit the edit button, and change the name. So that it's easier to remember. So the second step, how to make a transactions from your Polkadot Vault account. Since my Polkadot Vault account is a newly created account and hasn't got any balance on it, I'm going to first transfer some token um, from my previous account into this account. Um, open your sub wallet extension. Choose all account mode. Hit send tokens and select the account you want to send from. In this case, I'll choose um, BD account. Um, choose your address from the address book. I have sub wallet polka dot vault in here and I transfer 1.5 dot to make sure it's above the existential deposit. Hit transfer, review all the information and hit approve. Okay, you can go on view transaction to view the status of your transfer. Right, it's completed. So you can view your sub wallet Polkadot vault in here and it has 1.5 dot. Okay, so now I'm going to make a transfer from this account back to my BD account. Again, hit on send tokens. So since you're in this Polkadot vault account, you don't have to um, fill in the sender account again. So you send dot to Polkadot. So like your um, the recipient account BD. I'm going to try sending 0.2 dot to this account. On your mobile phone, open Polkadot Vault app and hit on scan QR. Here, hit approve and scan the QR. So you have this error message saying that there is no metadata downloaded for Polkadot network. You can't sign the transaction yet. So what you want to do is you want to go on to metadata.parity.io and then um, here is the Polkadot network, right? You have to add the network. Okay, hit approve. And then hit a metadata and then scan the metadata. So by scanning this, the metadata for Polkadot network on this account is being updated. And after this, you can sign um, the transaction. All right, hit on approve. And everything is updated. So you then go back to your sub wallet extension, hit approve again, 
and then now you can press on here and scan enter your iphone passcode and you get another qr code right so hit scan qr on your sub wallet extension and scan this qr code all right the transaction has been done you can see that my dot balance had just dropped and if you click on history um, the transaction is being processed and now it's completed there you go